Hello and welcome to another video. I just uh, came to know about a pretty interesting utility called Herd Protect. I don't know if you guys have heard of this thing, but um, well, you can check out their website. It's herdprotect.com. And what they are is basically they've done, I mean, they've just combined all the anti malware engines very similar to the way Virus Toll has and they scan your computer and give you a report. So they don't actually remove any malware but they can show you the location of the file so you can just go and manually delete it and they scan your computer. So it's a pretty neat idea to be honest because uh, it's completely impractical to scan your entire hard disk using Virus Toll. So this utility could become, you know, widespread to be used by people like me to scan, you know, PCs and they're infected. And it would be really neat if it would come with uh, some kind of cleaner as well. But for the moment, it doesn't clean anything, but it scans and it gives you the entire report. So obviously it's not great for novice users. You can't just uh, rely on this and start deleting files because you have to consider the possibilities of a false positive so and this is meant for advanced users only at the moment but I hope they improve this tool and ultimately it'll become a full-fledged anti-malware you know removal tool which would be far more useful than what it is right now anyway so let's get started what I've done is I've got a system here that is uh, pretty decently infected We've got a few files sitting on the hard drive, as well as some that are running in memory. And if we go to our process, we'll can, we can see over here, we've got a malware process. This is also a malware process. And I've decided to compare it with a utility which is very similar. That's, we all know that. It's Hitman Pro. It doesn't use 68 engines, it just uses 3 or 4, and it, what it does is basically it does a cloud scan, but it also has removal options. So this is what it's found. This is an executable, as you can see it's running, and these files are just sitting on the hard drive, and these are running. So I chose the files in different locations so that we can see um, which locations are basically included in the scan and how effectively it can scan because it can remove the file so it's pointless to you know just see what it can do if we don't you know put the files in different locations so I just want to see um, how deep their scanning is I mean how much files can they detect because it's a really big challenge to scan a hard disk with 68 antivirus scanners even though it's done in the cloud I know basing on your internet speed uh, it might take a while and uh, it's a really tough job so that's what I wanted to see how have they managed that how well have they managed that so let's take a look at the utility itself I think I've installed it let's see or to protect yep so it's a pretty simple installation so I didn't think uh, I need to, I needed to go through it so you can just download it from this website and you can just install it and start it right away or you can uh, install it as a portable you know thing and you can just run the executable so and this is what it looks like it's fairly simple it doesn't give you any like options to choose what to scan so that's why I was more interested to see where it the locations it scans. So we've got a little help button over here that just tells us um, the date of the release. In future I'd like to see some more additions, some more customizations. Because right now it's very limited. It's not bad uh, considering it's a first time product. I mean it, this is the first release I guess. So we'll just hit the big green scan button and let Herd Protect do its job okay so they have a welcome message great okay so now this is something which I find is you know not that great they say after the initial scan some items might be queued for additional scanning by the cloud services and you should rerun another herd protect scan shortly after this one so 
they're asking you to do two scans. First, you just scan the known files, they get detected, and the unknown files, they're analyzed by their servers. Now, I would like um, this to be done in real time, like it's done in most other utilities. However, considering they're a small company, they've just, you know, started out, so, you know, I guess this is acceptable. But, again, as I said, I'm looking for more improvements in the future. I really like this idea, so I really hope, you know, this it just doesn't, it just shouldn't end over here. I'm really um, eager to see improvements in this product, and let's see if it does its job in this case. So we have the Hitman Pro results, and we'll just compare uh, the Herd Protect results to this one. So that might actually take a while, because it's going to scan with 68 engines, so it's going to need some time. So I'll just pause the video and be back when it's done. Welcome back. The scan just completed and it says it's found one unclassified malware. Now this one in bracket 4.exe. Now it was running in the system during the scan and it's caught by 35 engines, so it recommends me to remove this immediately. Now if I click view, it opens the folder where the file is located and I can just go ahead and delete it. However, where's the rest of the stuff? I mean, this is just one. You can go and take a look at this file on their website as well. Basically, just like Firestone. But um, fairly disappointed with this because it has missed a lot of stuff. As you can see, there's only one detection. And Hitman Pro clearly shows us that we've got much more than that. This is the file it detected. We've got these three files sitting over here. So if it scanned this, it should have scanned and caught these. So it looks like their cloud is still not that effective. And then we've got server.exe and <coughs> this one. Now the funny thing about this is this is running in memory. So if it scanned the memory, it should have caught that. Of course, uh, it's an adware, but still. I mean, Hitman Pro, it just basically scans with the 68 engines. It doesn't uh, give you a report basing on the you know, the intensity of the infection. So, if it's caught by Hitman Pro, quite clearly it is. We've got Bitdefender and Kaspersky flagging this. So, you know, it just should have caught it if it scanned it. So, it looks like their scan is really not that deep, and it does skip out a lot of files. So, the cloud analysis really doesn't, um, you know, isn't implemented that well. Because quite clearly, if you if you're scanning with the 68 engines, you'll definitely catch these because these are caught by two of the engines which are included in your 68. And quite clearly, it did scan these locations because it because it found this, and this is in memory, so it, it's not possible that it wouldn't scan the memory. That's stupid. So quite clearly, the cloud scanning feature is not that well implemented. So as I said, a pretty decent idea, but execution is lacking. I mean, the way it's done, it's not done properly. Because quite clearly, I don't know where the other pieces of malware went. So right now, only for advanced users. Novice users should probably stay away from a product like this. Because uh, it's still not fully functional. And it does give a lot of false positives. I mean, I tried it on my own system and it came up with like five or six pieces of malware, which were all false positives. So, um, it has a long way to go. I really like the idea. I hope they make some improvements and, uh, you know, this, uh, this idea will go a long way. We'll definitely see better products with the similar idea, but maybe the implementation is just too difficult. I mean, it's really hard. When I first uh, heard of this, I was like shocked. How can you scan with 68 engines? And it scanned fairly fast, to be honest, um, considering that it scanned with 68 engines. But quite clearly, the method they're using is not foolproof. They're not really giving you the power of 68 engines in this, because quite clearly it missed a lot of stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed this um, short little video. I know I've not made a video since a long time. I sincerely apologize for that. Just keep following the security ch P Security channel, and I'll give you more updates. I'm planning on some more, uh, you know, tests of some real 
ton protection anti-malware products so hope you guys enjoyed this short little video have a nice day and feel free to comment on it and give me any updates when you know we get a new program from herd protect or whatever so thanks for watching and have a good day